Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And today is day four of the coronavirus 19 shelter in day. It's the 20th of March, 2020. And welcome back. I'm so glad you came. If you haven't seen the other videos I began on day one, go back if you want, and then you can follow the sequence day by day. And first of all, I want you to know that I do not have the virus. Some people have wondered, and it's just right here in California we are mandated to stay in our place unless there's something very essential, which is a doctor's appointment to get some food and to go to the pharmacist. Only the essentials. Or if we have a job, that means that we're working on the outside. Otherwise, we're to stay in. So that's the set of circumstances. Thanks for checking. I appreciate that. And I hope you're well. I hope that those people that you love and that are near you are also doing well. We never know. So that's my wish for you. And yesterday, guess what? I got to go out. Oh, I've been outside the front way, the back way, the side way, the other side way. However, I got to get in my car and go out, out there. Imagine that I would be so excited to get to go out. Well, I got in my car and I noticed something. Maybe you do too. We've changed how we watch. We're more attentive rather than just spacing out. If we're driving or we're walking, we're watching. All different kinds of things we're watching. I was watching how many cars were not out on the highway. I was watching that, at least where I was, cars were driving more slowly. It used to be they would just roar around trying to get somewhere as fast as they could, and most of all, faster than anybody in front of them. Now, everybody was driving at a different pace. And as I got to the doctor's office, I noticed something different. I noticed that the receptionist was out in front and she was wiping down the tables. And after I came in, she wiped the doorknob. I'd never seen that before. And then she took me to the appointment room. And when she did, she wiped down the counter and she wiped down the table. Never saw that before. I assumed that they wiped them down when I wasn't there. And now she said they wanted all of us to know that they were keeping extra, extra special care for us and our safety and for theirs. And then when the doctor came in, I noticed he washed his hands twice, and then he put hand disinfectant on, and then he put gloves on, just the thin kind. Nevertheless, they were gloves. And after my appointment, I watched and he peeled the gloves off backwards and put them in the trash. And then I walked out and one of the assistants was out there and she and I have chatted. I've been going there forever, well, almost. And uh, so I was talking to her and asking her how she was managing and what was she doing. She has two kids 
and they're teenagers and I was just sort of curious and she looked and she just grinned and she says, well, they're still alive and I'm still alive and she laughed. I thought, wow, in the middle of all of this, two kids at home on purpose and she's laughing. I said, what's the secret? How are you managing? She said, it took me a while. The first two days, she said, the end of the second day, I just walked out and she said, I walked outside and I didn't want to go back in. They're my kids and I didn't want to go back out. She said, I thought of pitching a tent, sleeping outside, all kinds of crazy thoughts. And then she realized, wait a minute, we're in this together. And how can I manage my emotions? How can I manage my state so that I can show up for my kids differently? And as you and I and my clients and, and other people have talked about, we are in all in this together. And this is the time that something is lacking or may be lacking. And what that is, is leadership. Now, I don't mean somebody out there directing where and how somebody goes somewhere. I'm talking the kind of leadership where we decide how we want to show up, how we want to be with others, and how we want to connect. And so for her, she said that she was so overwhelmed and she just couldn't bear to make a full-fledged dinner. So you know what she did? She told her kids, we're gonna have waffles and an omelet for dinner and we're gonna have dinner breakfast. They were so excited they went and got the eggs, they went and got the ingredients, they helped her pour it, they together created their breakfast dinner. And they ate their waffles. And they connected in a different way. Now I know this sounds very ideal. She does not think it's ideal at all. It was her way of figuring out, being creative, how to connect, and take care of herself. Good leadership is always done by somebody who is a person of service and serves themselves with self-care. So those two things are important. And so it was just lovely to hear how she was managing this. And she was watching her two kids to see how they were doing. And it was very important to her to help them write a story about these times that included some love and some warmth and some real connectiveness. So that was her story. And I loved watching her face when she started telling me about the the stress and the strain and trying to figure out knowing that this was going to last for a long time and these two kids were here and their house is small. And then to watch her face shift as she changed her state and how she wanted to show up and how she really could do something very simple in a gracious, generous, way and she did and those waffles i will guarantee you i could be wrong i will guarantee you were the best tasting waffles they had ever had in a long time so be creative in your leadership and as i left i noticed something else as i was driving to the store still fewer traffic people still well paced and I noticed that the parking lot was not as full of course always that place has no parking places 
and drive around and just consider it, you know, a, a gift from the parking gods if you find a place to park really soon without having to wait for somebody to pull out. And then he went into the store and I didn't stay that long. It's just while I was there, I noticed I was watching differently. I saw people with masks on. I had a different feeling than I would have before. I thought, oh, they're keeping safe. And then I saw people with gloves on and I thought, oh, they're helping keep all of us safe, whether they know it or not. And then I got to where the, the bins are. They're plastic bins and they have all kinds of nuts and trail mix and beans and polenta and, and different um, flowers and they were empty. And what I noticed, not only were they empty, there were staff people going and they were cleaning with disinfectant. And the where the usually you would get the hot food and serve yourself empty. And they were wiping those down with alcohol. And then there's a little kiosk, little set of shelves with doors on them. And they have cookies and donuts and pastries. And you usually are expected to get a piece of plastic paper and then you pick it up and put it in a box, gone. All, each cookie, each pastry, each bagel, each donut, everything was in its own separate package, sealed. And the place where you can grab your hot, well, not literally with your hands, where you get your hot pizza and just pick it up slice by slice, put it in a box, not there. Salad bar, not there. And everyone was cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. The only place you could get takeout food was in a certain section with somebody behind it. And they too had gloves on. So I am thinking that all of our lives are different now. And as I checked out, immediately somebody came with disinfectant, wiped down the counter, wiped down the machine where I put my card in. Everything has shifted. And I'm gonna offer to you that in this shift, you notice what you watch, how you've changed something, how other people are relating, how other people are being creative, and see what kind of a leader that you can be to yourself, to those around you that you love and care for. So let's take advantage of this, even though the reason for it is horrendous. Let's see what we can do with it. All right. Take care, do what you can, take care of yourself the best you can, and I'll be back tomorrow on the fifth day. Come back, let me know your comments, let me know if there's anything else that you want me to talk about. I'm here, lots of decisions, I'm here to help. Take care, come back, bye for now.